uh, to the Premier League. It's extremely difficult, as you know, and only only the best ones can uh, can have that direct impact. Uh, I mean, can could be uh, Hulk, could be uh, other extremely interesting players that are around, uh, right wingers and, uh, and left wingers. It's the release clause, but uh, no, of course not. I think I think those times are over. I mean, the, the, the transfer window in uh, in January reflected exactly that. Uh, the shift from uh, from one year to to the other was uh, was radical. No, I just I just um, perspectivated um, the the position that we might be looking for um, next year. Doesn't doesn't mean that those two won't be counted on. At the moment, Kalu um, is uh, is finishing a contract. Uh, we haven't decided yet on on, on further continuity. Um, and I mean, not me, but uh, the football club. Uh, and uh, and Maluda will. Uh, we have been uh, speaking to him. Of course, there is uh, there is interest of uh, of both parts to continue with uh, with this uh, with this future. But we will have to decide in the end of the season. I think he, uh, for, for the player that he was uh, of high quality for this football club and a good servant of this football club, for the match minutes that he has at the moment, I think is something that we need to talk in the end of the season for sure. And the and the, and the player uh, told exactly that. Well, I think again uh, another one out of uh, context. Uh, short phrase uh, brings an explosive uh, uh, um, critique. Uh, the build-up to the rest is is all positive because it's based on an excellent defensive organization, a team that is very well organized, that knows the right moments to counter-attack, that creates problems, that against Porto had, uh, had five chances but scored four. And, uh, and, uh, and for me, a team that represents the coach, an Italian coach with that philosophy that has worked perfectly for Man City. But, uh, but the problem was uh, the other route that, that you guys took, which I don't critique, but, uh, but is, uh, it sells better. I'm not comparing the styles because uh, I think Man City styles uh, first in the league with 17 points ahead of us. I cannot critique a style so efficient as that. I think it's uh, they are uh, again record-breaking leaders with incredible numbers. Uh, and they won all games at home. Uh, lost six goals against at home, 40 scored. You cannot beat these kind of uh, numbers. Uh, but uh, but you can identify the style and identify the philosophy of the uh, of the manager that he has brought on with great efficiency for for the Premiership. But I think it's uh, it's very Italian. Just uh, I just had this approach. So, so what's your style? Well, my style is holding the initiative, and uh, I don't speculate with the game. I like to have the initiative of the ball. We like to be with the ball all the time, and uh, and 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 have it in our in our possession. That is our philosophy, and that's what we're trying to build. Uh, and I think uh, it's fair to say that um, when you listen to other managers, recognize that there is a change of Chelsea's philosophy. For me, it's important. For the football club, I think it's important because it was uh, it was asked for me to do it. But again, it represents a, um, a, a shock of culture regarding what was done in the past, and that was said as well in the interview. Well, I think he brought. Uh, I think Roberto has brought immediate success to Man City. To be fair, he was given. Uh, I think he he bought his own time with his qualities uh, by winning the FA Cup last year and by building a super team this year that is enabling him to uh, to be in the Premiership uh, with this uh, with this distance for for the for the rest from the third place bottom team to the rest. And uh, uh, but again, uh, of course, they had high expectations in other competitions, which uh, which they already aren't. Okay. Right, thanks, everybody. Let's turn cameras off and move to pace.